coastal management strategies to reduce the risk of flooding or erosion at the coastline. First one is hard engineering, man-made structures that physically alter the shape of the coastline. The first example is a sea wall. You can see it's made of concrete and it's curved and this reflects wave energy back out to sea. Downsides is they're very expensive and they're not considered aesthetically pleasing. Second type of hard engineering is groins. Groins are wooden or stone structures that stick out into the sea. They trap sediment that would usually be transported by longshore drift, creating a wider beach, which creates more friction and reduces wave energy. Third one is gabions. These are basically metal cages with stones inside. They're very cheap, but also not very aesthetically pleasing. Uh, and the final one is rock armour. Huge boulders are placed at the bottom of a cliff or a sea wall. And as the waves hit them, they reduce the energy of the waves, therefore reducing erosion. Soft engineering is more ecologically sensitive and it works with the environment. Beach nourishment, the first example is recharge. They dredge material from the seabed and spray it back onto the beach, making it bigger and wider. Second example is reprofiling. Mechanical diggers push the sand or sediment back to the edge of the beach. Uh, making the beach steeper. Again, wave energy is reduced, less erosion. Recycling reverses the effects of longshore drift. The sediment that's dragged from one end of the beach is pushed back to the other. And the final one is regeneration when sand dunes are encouraged to develop, again, providing a natural barrier to erosion.